for Christian Daniels, it started when his co-worker pointed out a dime-sized bald patch on the back of his head. Within days, he was waking up each morning to find clumps of hair on his white pillowcase. A month later it was all gone. The hair on his head, his eyebrows, eyelashes. Even the hair is in his nose. At 25, Daniels was diagnosed with alopecia areata, an autoimmune disorder that causes hair loss. Doctors had few treatment options to offer him. That's the worst part. When you Google alopecia, you see there's no treatment and no cure for it, said Daniels, now 27, of Peoria, Arizona. That hit me pretty hard. But that's set to change, giving hope not only to Daniels but to an estimated 7 million other Americans living with a life-altering condition. This week, the Food and Drug Administration approved what experts are calling a groundbreaking treatment for severe alopecia areata, making it the first and only medication on the market approved for the skin disease. It's life-changing, said Drive. Crystalog, a board-certified dermatologist and associate professor of dermatology at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. It's the first major breakthrough we've had in alopecia areata in the last 20 years. For all of history, there has been nothing this effective, said Dr. Brett King, lead investigator of the clinical trials and associate professor of dermatology at Yale School of Medicine. It's truly historic and transformative, both literally and figuratively. Breaking the silence, Jada Pinkett Smith addresses Chris Rock's Oscars comments in Red Table Talk about alopecia the aftermath. Will Smith blocked from Academy events for 10 years, Board of Governors decides after slap patients. Illumion belongs to a class of drugs called Jack inhibitors and was originally approved for rheumatoid arthritis. Instead of suppressing the entire immune system, like immunosuppressants, Jack inhibitors focus on the immune cells attacking the hair follicles, explained Dr. Parati Murmurani, a hair disorder specialist and faculty at the American Academy of Dermatology. With this medication, it's more targeted. It's disabling the communication mechanism that promotes that continual attack on hair follicles. Some dermatologists have tried to prescribe the medication off-label but got pushback. Anytime I attempted to prescribe Jack inhibitors in routine care, I could never get insurance coverage for it. Og said it used to take a lot of betting to get insurance companies to pay for the drug. But now with FDA approval, they're more likely to comply. Still, the price tag for Lumiant is high, 